everybody, Colleen here with Colleen Beauty and Fashion. I'm back with another fashion video. I'm excited about it. I'm going to give you three spring looks that are great for the office and also great for having fun after office time. So stay tuned. Here they come. Thank you for joining me. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Colleen Beauty and Fashion, we do beauty makeup tutorials and all those kind of things. And we also do fashion, which is what we're doing today. I have three looks. Number one is behind me. I'm going to start with it. So let's get going. So here's the first look. It starts with this lovely green satin shirt that comes from H&M. I paired it with a jacket that I don't think you can get any longer. This is quite old in my wardrobe. Um, but I will try and find a link for you and find you something just as good, if not better. So you can have a look for that down in the description box. I chose some bold gold links to go right at my throat here with this look. And for the bottom half and the ex more accessories, we have some A-Crew pants and then this A-Crew color belt with the gold links again, match with the necklace. And then this beautiful scarf. And if you know my channel at all and the fashion part of it, you know that I love scarves. And I think a scarf can really tie the whole look together. And then of course, we're gonna need some shoes. So I have some shoe options too. So let me go put all this on and I will show the look to you. And put the jewelry on for you. There we go. And here of course is the scarf. So you can just put this on any way you like. Just basically to give you a little warmth around your neck as you're getting to the office. Just kind of tie it up like this. Tuck it in your coat if you like. And then we need one more thing to get out the door. I have my trusty trench coat. Still need it. It's still cool enough in the air, but if, if you didn't need it, of course you wouldn't have to put this on. But there we go. So there we are, ready to head out the door. And you can always belt this if you like, of course. So that's office. Now let me show you how I would change this up to make it a little bit more fun to go out for a casual evening out at friend's house for dinner or maybe just a nice restaurant. Nothing too fancy, but just changing it up a little bit to give it a little bit more evening look. So the only two things you will need to take with you to the office if you wear everything that I just showed you are a nice sparkly pair of shoes and some more glamorous earrings. That's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the jacket. Toss that over there. Then I'm going to take off my belt. Don't worry, it's not a strip tease. That would be a different kind of channel. So here we go. This belt is a little stiff, so pardon me. Then I'm going to take the shirt, pull it out, and like this. There we go. Pull it out a little bit. I'm also going to change up my shoes. Because I showed you those great shoes that you can use to transition. And we'll take off the flats. And put on these pretty sparkly heels. Change my earrings. To earrings that have a little bit of pearl accent. Just to make things a bit fancier. For the evening. Thank you there. Once you have both your earrings on, you can reach for your scarf. Voila. And you can use it as kind of a shawl. And of course you can do this with any combination of, you know, colors that go together. Actually, the easiest way to start with a transitional look like this is the scarf. So if you find a scarf that you really love, buy the elements to go match the scarf. So take the colors out of the scarf, 
by your bottom, by your top, by a jacket, the jewelry and all that you can figure out, the belt. You don't even need the belt if you don't want to wear it. And you can just be really comfortable without it actually. And, you know, change up your shoes to something a little bit more sparkly and lovely. And that gives you a transition for an evening outfit out with friends. I've even seen people tuck this in to their belt. <laughs> there you go. It's an option. So I think this works really great as a transition from the office to a night out, either at a casual restaurant or with friends at their house. All you needed to take with you was a different pair of shoes and your change up in jewelry. So here we go, look number two. I apologize if the lighting changed a little bit. I didn't have my ring light on in the one before, so I have it on now. So hopefully it's a little bit better. As you can see, my pink blazer from Zara is back there. It has its own video dedicated to it. To, so if you want to look at my playlist of the fashion items on the playlist, it's in there. And I'm going to use it today to put together two looks, just like before. One for going to the office during the day and one, this time a little bit more glamorous, going out in the evening. So here comes look number two. So here we go with look number two. This is the start of the look for the office. So. I have on my pink blazer from Zara, which I love. And I have on a basic white cotton shirt, which everybody should have. If you don't have one, and there'll be a link down below, <laughs> look for one. Or go to the store and find one, they're everywhere. And, uh, but you definitely, it's a staple in a wardrobe. It helps so many ways with so many outfits. So also I have on black wide leg trousers. Very in style right now, the wide legs and my heels. heels. So that is the start, the office portion. Oh, and I have some silver hoops. Let's see if I can pop this color a little bit. That might look a little more interesting. I don't know if this shirt suits this one on. I wanted to wear a silver uh, necklace, but I don't have one right now. So I'm going to be buying one from Miranda Fry. I have a link in my description box to her jewelry. I really like her stuff. I have some rings that are on their way. What do we think about that? Is that better or worse? Anyway, you could play with the collar and, and do it how you like. I also have a black watch to add for this portion of the day, the office look. And I've put on some silver earrings. So. And I think with the buttons on the jacket, that's enough. Now, I did want to say something about the wide leg pants and this jacket, because I understand you saw the pants earlier. If you feel, let me just adjust a bit here. So I understand if you feel like this is too much wide and then wide leg trousers here. Um, it's the style right now to be very, you know, slouchy and everything wide and everything. But I get it, I'm petite too. So if you don't think this is the right kind of look for you, you can find a jacket that's cropped or bolero, we used to call it. A little bit shorter like that with the wide leg pants and just follow the same concepts of what we're gonna be trading out for the evening look here. It'll work out exactly the same, but if this is a better look for you, as far as you know your body shape and everything then you should look for the crop jacket okay so here are the items that i'm suggesting that you could use to take this look from daytime to evening and the bag and the shoes are optional but the jewelry is kind of necessary i think you need something sparkly on your ears for sure yeah, you can see the earring a bit better. These are very old, so I will try and find you something similar online and put a link in the description box, as I will for everything that's featured here, including the ring. There's the ring, which I think is a very pretty addition too. So here we go with the evening version. So underneath the pink blazer, I've switched out to a 
sparkly black camisole. You can see it's got some of the pink in there and it's also got some purple and some silver. So this amps it up for the evening look. And I think this blazer works okay for the evening because I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it does have a bit of a sheen to it. So the other elements that are gonna dress this up, what I showed you in the video is I've got earrings that are a bit more glamorous. You can see, very pretty. So they're a little bit sparkly to go with our sparkly top. There's the earrings on. And here is the pink ring that I showed in the video. So we're gonna slip that on. Nice big ring. I should get my nails done, I know, and my hair. I need maintenance. <laughs> okay, back to the outfit. So, I think that's really all you need. I have a little bag that you could use. It's very glittery. Like this takes it up even further, I think, another notch. And if you wanted to change it out with your heels, I showed you some flats with some rhinestones on them that you could wear too. This, the bag and the shoes, change of shoes would take it up even another notch. So that's getting pretty glittery. But I think if you were going to the theater or the opera, or if you wanted to go out for a really nice dinner somewhere, you know, a little bit more upscale, this would be a lovely outfit. Even if you're on a holiday, maybe on a cruise ship, and you just want to put together something that's elevated but still you know a little bit um, more on the casual side I think this is a great look so that's look number two okay so here we go with look number three daytime office to evening as you can see behind me it involves little black dresses so I know this is a pretty easy trick that a lot of people use take the little black sheath dress but I'm gonna show you a little twist with something else so Stay tuned, here comes look number three. So this first part is the typical way we usually do this. There's a black sleeveless sheath dress underneath. And then you just put a blazer, whatever kind you like. This is a plaid one that's a couple years old now, but I'll try and find you something similar in the links. It'll be down in the links. Um, but normally what we would do, right, is take this off. And then if you're feeling super confident about your arms, all you need to do is um, add some jewelry and some heels. And of course, this little black dress, which is from Calvin Klein. And I'll put a link to a similar one um, in the links, of course. But if you feel like you might be a little bit chilly or if you want some coverage for your arms, just take a nice sparkly sweater and you just put that over and there you go that's a pretty basic way of taking the little black dress from office to evening and a trick that i'm sure that everybody knows but i want to show you something with a different kind of little black dress that maybe is a different way to do it if you can find the right dress so stay tuned i'm going to go put it on so here we go with an alternative to that very simple sheath with a sparkly sweater look behind me and this one is all about the dress so this is an Anne Klein dress I found about a year and a half ago, I think, at Winners. And what's terrific about this dress is it's already a little bit elevated because of the gold zipper and the gold detailing on it. You can see on the sleeves, it's got these tabs um, that have the little Anne Klein, you can see that line on them. So it's already a little bit dressed up. So what I'm suggesting you do is for the office, you can find a dress like this, and I'll look for one and put it in the links if I find one. For the office, you can just, of course, put your blazer on. And I have, you know, heels on, just the regular black heels. So let me back up and I'll show the look to you in full view. So there you can see, very appropriate for the office. This is all you will need to elevate this Anne Klein black dress. So to elevate this look now, we're just gonna remove the jacket. And I have on my ears just some little gold earrings. You can see, 
They're very nice. I'm going to link similar ones from Miranda Fry for you. But we're going to change these out. We're going to change them to these larger hoops. Just give a bit more presence, right? Can you see there? These ones are quite old, but I'll find you some from Miranda Fry that are beautiful in the links if you're interested. Calvin Klein strappy gold heels. And we're going to put them on. Let me just show you, okay, the difference. Because you really could wear either uh, pair of strappy gold heels. So I haven't had a pedicure for a while, so I'm not doing close-ups with my feet at the moment. And here's with the other heel. It is plain black heel. You can see. So you could do either one. Either one is nice. So then you can, of course, pull your zipper down as low as you like. I don't think you need any more gold jewelry here. That's just my preference. I have one more finishing item that I'm going to show you. This is a little black crossbody bag. So you could wear it either across your body, which is a little bit more casual, of course. But what I like to do in evenings is wear it over my shoulder, just like that. Now, if this were the perfect bag for this outfit, it would have a little handle and I would just, you know, carry it. But I don't have the perfect bag just yet. I'm gonna look for one online. We'll see if we can find one. So that's what I would use as my bag. I don't think you want anything too sparkly. I think this is an elevated evening look. It's not as elevated or sparkly as the, as the chic dress with the sweater. But I think this is a really nice, elegant look for when you're going out in the evening after work. Really easy to do because all you need, again, is a change of shoes and a change of jewelry and you're good to go. So thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you had fun watching these three different looks going from office time to evening time. I've been doing that a long <laughs> time, years and years and years. So. Um, I hope you got some tips that are useful to you, and I will link everything down below, including the makeup I'm wearing in this video. I really hope that if you like this content and you poke around my channel and you see the other things that I'm doing, and you like that as well, that you'll do two things. One is give a big thumbs up to this video, and the other is subscribe so you can join me for and all of our community for more content coming up. I'm having lots of fun doing this. so and our community is growing and I wanna thank everybody who subscribed so far. So thank you so much. As always, Bonnie joins me for the video at the end to say goodbye. So we're gonna say goodbye to the people, okay? Ready? Bye-bye people, bye-bye people, bye-bye. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye-bye now. <laughs>